Hello and welcome to a video about lobbying against public transportation in the United States. Public transportation is an essential part of any modern society, providing a means for people to get to work, school, and other important destinations. Unfortunately, in the United States, powerful interests have often worked to undermine the development and expansion of public transportation systems. This is known as lobbying against public transportation, and it has had a significant impact on the state of these systems in the United States. One way in which lobbying against public transportation has occurred is through the influence of car manufacturers and oil companies on public policy. These industries have a vested interest in maintaining the dominance of private cars as the primary means of transportation, as they stand to profit from the sale of cars and the consumption of gasoline. As a result, they have often worked to shape policy in ways that favor the development of roads and highways over public transportation options. Another way in which lobbying against public transportation has occurred is through the influence of suburban communities on policy decisions. Many suburbs have been developed in a way that is heavily reliant on the use of private cars, and residents of these communities may be opposed to the development of public transportation options, as they may perceive them as a threat to their way of life. As a result, these communities may lobby against the expansion of public transportation in their areas. A third way in which lobbying against public transportation has occurred is through the influence of real estate developers on policy decisions. In some cases, developers may be opposed to the development of public transportation options, as they may see them as a potential threat to the value of the real estate they own or are developing. As a result, they may lobby against the expansion of public transportation in order to protect their own interests. Overall, lobbying against public transportation has had a significant impact on the state of these systems in the United States. From the influence of car manufacturers and oil companies, to the influence of suburban communities and real estate developers, it's clear that powerful interests have often worked to undermine the development and expansion of public transportation options. This has led to a situation where many Americans lack access to reliable and affordable public transportation options, and it's an issue that needs to be addressed if we hope to improve our public transportation systems.